the only one that means home sweet home to me if you follow the old King Carson trail until the desert meets the hills oh you certainly will agree with me it's a place Nevada song. Sorry, I'm kind of emotional. <laughs> um, if you guys haven't, you know, seen, I'm sure you've seen and heard the news if you've been on Facebook at all, but um, Vegas is my hometown, and so uh, we just thought we'd still cook tonight, and um, my thoughts and prayers with everyone who's, who's there dealing with that. Um, my family is safe, and I'm, I'm super grateful for that, and, uh, you know, I just, my, my thoughts, my prayers, my love goes out to all those out there who are still, um, still don't really know what's happening, still waiting in hospitals, um, still getting bad news. So uh, if you see the first thing in the description, there's a link there and it's, uh, it's to donate to a GoFundMe page that was set up by a congressman in uh, uh, Nevada to, um, to give aid to all the people who have been affected. Um, so yeah, there it is. That was gorgeous. Thank you. I think that was one of your best <laughs> performances, really. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. If you, if you miss, I'll try to do it again at the end. Yeah, you need to. All the heart and love for that. that yeah, thanks, amazing. guys. Thanks for that. Um, anyways. <laughs> um, what so we, we're going to talk yeah, about we comfort food, yeah. guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because that's, we're just, we want to fill your bellies with love and Sometimes food is one of the best things to help get you there. Absolutely. So we're going to do our best to help with that tonight. So it looks like we have some people saying hi. For those of yeah. you who may not know us, this is Shane Horlocker. Hi, and this is Camille Walker. And she's from My Mommy Style, and she has an awesome blog that's like mom hacks, lifestyle tips, <laughs> uh, all the best stuff you need to know. And recently, she's been doing a lot of Instant Pot stuff for you guys who have an Instant Pot. Yes. Um, and I just have a little food blog. It's just called Shane Horlocker. So run over there and uh, give us some likes. Yeah, we'd love it if you liked our pages. We're here every Monday evening on Mama Loves Food and Spaceships and Laser Beams. But if you follow along with our pages as, as well, you will know when we are live at any time. So we would love to have you join us. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Hey, Valencia. Crystal Lizelle, how's it going? Candace, thanks for the thanks for the love. Hi, ladies. Hi, Tim Marie. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Timory. Um, don't blame me last night and today. Tom Petty passed oh, away today. Yeah, I didn't I did know that he that. did. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Um, that was beautiful. Thanks, Rena. Uh, Jolene. Beautiful. Heart Las Vegas. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for the love and all the, the hearts. Okay. okay. You want to get started? Yeah, Tell we'll me get what started. Okay. Should I, should I clean and wash these? Do I need to do yes. that? That will be, so what we're going to be doing first, there's three different things that we're going to be sharing today, but two of them are made right into your Instant Pot. Any recipe that you make in the Instant Pot can be converted to a slow cooker. 
So just keep in mind if you want to try this in a slow cooker and you don't have an instant pot at home, it's typically four to six hours on high or six to eight hours on low. But I'm going to show you how to make this pot roast in under 30 minutes and we're going to be making a dessert as well. So we're doing instant pot pot roast. Say that 10 times fast. Instant pot pot roast. Instant pot pot roast. <laughs> the best instant pot pot roast. Oh my. Oh. So we're doing instant pot pot roast, but we are also cooking the potatoes in the, in the instant pot at the same time. So that will be really fun. And I'll be honest, I'm a little bit new to this. So we're going to be discovering it as we go, but the framework has been laid out and it, I'm assuming it's going to turn out really well, which means it will, right? Yes, absolutely. It's going to be <laughs> awesome. It's going to be so good. <laughs> so if you do get lost or you can't stick with us the whole time, you can share this to your wall and you'll be able to come back to it later. By sharing this on your wall, it also helps us so that more people see that we are live. And if you want to, you can follow along with the recipes. They are in the description on mymommystyle.com where you can find all the recipes for this tonight. And Scotcheroos is the dessert I'm making tonight. And this was an, a dessert that was introduced to me by some girls. I did an all girls, girls trip down in St. George, Utah. And a friend of mine that's an amazing cook brought this pan of Scotcheroos and we could not stop eating them. Like they are so good and super, super simple. So it, I think a lot of you may even have the ingredients in your home and it is a people pleaser, crowd pleaser, it fills a huge pan full of sweet treats. So we will get started. Oh, thank you for sharing. Crystal is Ella. I can hey, see that from here so a little much. bit. Hello, Erica. I think that's, I'm reading that from very far away. Sorry. I'm just Oh, you're fine. Episode. You're fine. Okay. So to get started, we're going to start with our, our meat. This is a roast that I've had in our freezer and it's about, I would say it's between one to two pounds. So it's a smaller roast, so we won't need to cook it for very long. We're going to be just doing it for about 20 minutes tonight, but I need to sear it. So that'll be something that if you want to get in close okay. on that shot. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, and we're going to put a seasoned rub on it and everything too. So I'm going to grab a plate just so I don't get everything okay. else dirty. Okay, sounds good. Um, just a little bit of information for you guys out there. If you just joined us, um, I'm, I'm from Las Vegas, so like that's where my heart is at today. If I seem a little off my game, like that's where I'm at. Um, but I know a lot of people are kind of wondering, like, how do you help in situations like this? And thankfully, somebody set up a GoFundMe page. Um, one of our officials in, in Vegas did. And so we've put a link in the description. So if you want to donate, you can. Um, you've just seen like a huge outpouring of love. But also, there's other ways you can help. If you're in Utah... Um, or Nevada, it doesn't matter if you're in Las Vegas or not, you can, um, you can donate blood. They, um, they're going to be taking, they're going to be transporting blood from Utah and uh, northern parts of Nevada and probably the surrounding um, states as well, so California. So if you, just, if you just run into a blood bank and donate some blood, that, um, that will actually help their, you know, as you guys know, there's like over 500 uh, victims and all this uh, 500 different casualties so um, with uh, several over 50 people died and so um, that's it's horrible yeah it's horrible yeah and so that's that's just, I know like we're always thinking how can we help and and honestly those two things are yeah. the best thing that can help like they have all the stuff that they need there's just gonna be fallout from like victims needing support with with hospital bills and then um, you know, people needing blood yeah. right now. I think in Las Vegas, the blood banks are scheduled through the week already. Wow. And so people are still like standing outside. My friend sit outside for like 10 hours today, wow. for, like so far, just trying to donate blood. So that's if you're, cool. if you're one of the O types, that's, you should get to the bank. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, okay. So back to cooking. Okay. I'm going to wash my hands really quick. Okay. So I, uh, I have this roast here that we're going to be seasoning and I'm putting on it one of our favorite spices. I'll hold it up close. This is from Trader Joe's. Well, wrong way. It's called African Smoke, uh, South, Af South African Smoke Seasoning Blend. And it's one of our favorites for a rub if we're doing barbecue or roast or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and rub 
the roast with this first and then we're going to be searing it on the pan. So I'm going to rinse my hands really quick. Um, okay, so... Um, I want one of those pots, used my dad's and loved it. Sorry, what are you making? Prayers for Shane. Thanks, Valencia. Appreciate it. Lucia, how's it going? They're calling for blood here in Cincinnati. Wow. Um, yeah, so if you guys are out there and you want to help somehow, just go to your local blood bank. And I know, like, blood doesn't last that long. Like, it's, like, five days or something like that. I can't remember what it is. Um, but they'll certainly fly it in. I'm certain that Cincinnati has a plan in place. Yeah, if they're asking for it. Absolutely. So, yeah, so go and donate. Um, Susan, thanks for joining us. Uh, hi, guys. How are you both? Yes, very sad. It makes me so mad. Definitely. Um, you know, I was just thinking today, too, like, uh, I, I've just, you know, I've just been on the phone all day, and um, the... I've just seen like Vegas just come together, which is just, you know, so wonderful to see. And um, I think this is, it's like a, just a really good time to like, you know, like remember what's important and that like fewer things divide us, you know, like yes. more, we're, we're a lot more similar. I think you just did that, mm -hmm. that thing for, um, I know you told us about that last week, but why don't you tell us about that again? The... Yeah. So I talked about that on the Facebook live I did Thursday. So many of you probably didn't see, but I did an interview with the Washington Post this last week, which was a huge honor to be working with them. But they are doing a unification project for our nation, which I feel like we need more than ever. And what they did is they found two representatives from each state and interviewed us about how we feel about being an American, how we connect to other Americans in the nation, and the reality that we have so much more in common than we ever realized, that we have very common core values, belief systems, and willingness to help. And wherever there's a tragedy, there's always helping hands. And I think that so often it's in these tragedies and times that we realize what we can do in reaching out to help, to help each other and to be a community. So Absolutely. That, that finding or that study of all of the nation all of the different states is going to be live at the end of November. It is going to be online at Washington Post as well as their printed newspaper. So when that comes live, I'll for sure let you know because what is interesting about it is that they interviewed a lot of different people that were very different from our outward perspective, but so often our answers were the same. So for example, she had interviewed a two-time war veteran the same questions that she interviewed a homeless man from California and she said you would have thought they were the same person because what they said was exactly the same and the, the core values of who we are and what we want for this nation are the same and so it's going to be a really interesting and beautiful thing I think that we can look at as Americans and come together so keep a lookout for that it'll be at the end of November I'll for sure let you know when it when it does go live because there will be a virtual aspect to it where you can scan over each state and each person's picture will pop up of that person representing the state and you can read the interview as well as listen to audio of each of their interviews and I think it's just going to be such a cool way to connect with each other so absolutely yeah um <laughs> thanks Valencia <laughs> we just uh we just yeah people have lots of things to say anyways hi Melissa thanks for joining okay. Um, Candace, Valencia, you guys are so awesome. Love you guys. Tim Marie, you're awesome. We um, love you guys. Yeah, thank you. Um, okay. Cool. Do you, do you want, can I, can I use that to do this? Yeah, do you, you want to, do you want to get in tight for a minute? Because oh, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah, going to yeah. be getting this going. Totally, totally. Should right. I just put, the spring, can I bring the whole thing up? Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to wash again. Okay. Um, yeah, definitely. Hey everyone, and if you're if you're just joining us, we've we've got a link um, in the in the description. It's the first thing. Also, I just remembered I didn't tag us at all. Oh, you didn't? No. Um, so sorry about that. 
I'll have to go back and do that. Um, So Camille's just added the rub right to her roast here. Um, but if you just joined us, uh, in the description, there's a link to the um, to donate to help um, the victims of the mass shooting last night, as well as um, go to your local blood bank and donate some blood. And there's some meat. <laughs> there's meat. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch you spots right here. Is that okay? Yeah. Do you need this? Okay, so I'm going to be searing each side of this roast before putting it into the Instant Pot. That will help to seal in the juices and the flavor and will give us a better result when it's done. So I am going to go ahead and, and Jess, if you wouldn't mind tagging our pages, that would be super helpful. Yeah, Jess, sorry, I definitely forgot to do that. That's okay, so I'm actually gonna be searing oh, it over. sorry, okay. Sorry, You're you, know, you know what, you just talk and I don't think they necessarily need it's okay. This is good. This is good. So my husband and I we like to buy roasts when they go on sale, and because we have a we have a we have a family of six, but our children don't eat a ton yet. So we will cut it into smaller portions and then put it into saving packages like in our freezer. So this is one that we just had ready, and I'm just going to sear it on each side for a couple of minutes just to brown it up and help keep the moisture in. Um, can you tell me what we're, what we're making overall? Because we've been asking. Yeah, okay, so for those of you just tuning in, we are making an Instant Pot pot roast and mashed potatoes from the Instant Pot, and then we are also making scotcheroos, which is a delicious, delicious treat. Okay, so that was just a couple of minutes on that side. You just want to get it nice, a little tiny bit crispy on the edges. Um, if you can see that, sorry, the camera's a little bit away, but... I would say for the time, about two to three minutes. Okay. So Panda says, last night it took about three hours to my chuck roast from frozen, I tried searing it and gave it sort of red wine over it. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it again just to the side for a minute. Yes, $79 is the 30% off rent already. It's usually $99, Stacey. So this is a really good sale on the Instant Pot. Yeah. Stephanie, thanks for joining us. Um, Candace said it was good to you. I would have drank that red wine in order to pizza. <laughs> I love you, Valencia. That's hilarious. Uh, I have nights like that, too. Trust me, usually around here it's on Wednesdays because we're running around like crazy with scouts and dance and all the things. Hey, Ryan, thanks for joining us. Hi, Patricia. Can you? Uh, you can sear it in the Instant Pot? You can. I'm doing it this way just so you can see a little bit more. If you did want to sear it in the Instant Pot, you would just put it on saute mode. So you can definitely do that um, that way if you want to just keep it all in one pot. Because it does, it's kind of messy, like all this flapping. But this is just about ready to go into the Instant Pot, and then I'm going to add the ingredients to go in it. So yeah, I am done searing it. If you can kind of see, I apologize, the camera I can't totally see it, but it's just a little bit crispier on the edges. So we're going to put it in the Instant Pot now and add the other ingredients. spray my instant pot just as a precaution. I don't know if it's necessary with this dish particularly, but I like to just in case. All right, so we have it resting in there. I'm gonna add the other ingredients now. Oh, hey Trish, thanks so much. We love having you here. What's the weight on the meat you are using? This is close to two pounds. So if you were going more three pounds, 
I would say do closer to, we're going to be cooking this today for 20 minutes. If you were doing one that was three pounds, I would say go around 26, especially if it is frozen, because you can do that with frozen as well. Okay. What do you need for me? Um, I'm just peeling potatoes over here, guys, just so you <laughs> okay, know. Okay, so with this, oh, that's tight. Okay, so for those of you just turning in, we all, we are, we're doing the roast in the Instant Pot, but we're also prepping potatoes to be able to make mashed potatoes at the same time. So Shane is shredding and washing the potatoes, and we're gonna use a turret on a second level to make the uh, the, potato, the mashed potatoes prep them, if that makes, if that makes sense. And get all the All right, so I'm gonna put the camera the... back down. I'll try to catch your questions if you have them, and then I'll show you the steps to go into it. All right. Okay, well, so this says excellent view. Excellent view. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if that's like kidding or serious. Okay. So the first thing we are going to add is a cup of red wine. We do not have red wine currently at our house, but we do have Marsala. So we are going to do that. But if you were making this, I would suggest you go, if you want to follow the recipe exactly, you can do the red wine. We're going to use Marsala today. This. Also, are you okay with me just using, like, not getting all of it? I kind of like a little bit of yeah, texture no, that's in good. my Yeah, no, that's good. That's where the vitamins are, right? Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and add that in. Yes, the Instant Pots are 30% off today, which is a big sale. That's as good as it was, like, on Prime Day. So if you have been thinking about buying an Instant Pot, Today would be a good day to go ahead and do that. And if you use the link in the description, that is an affiliate link and that does help support us with that purchase as well. So if you would like to, that would be great. Yeah. But no pressure. It's no just pressure. a good day to buy it if you've been thinking about it. Yeah. And we will be doing more um, Instant Pot recipes yes. in the future too. So it will be a good purchase. Especially if you're like, someone's been thinking about it, and now, I know it's like a weird time to be thinking about Christmas already, but like, Yeah, that, it would it, make a great Christmas present. Because I guarantee you, like, well, I can't guarantee you, but I bet that price will go up. Yeah, oh, for sure. Well, they will have like Black Friday They'll days. have like a Black Friday That would be deal. a good day to get it. But this was like the same deal as like Prime yeah, Day, so it was. it's probably the best you're going to see. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Where is the Marsala from? From Trader Joe's. It's actually from a local liquor, liquor store just near us. Mm, mm -hmm. Sorry, that's not very helpful. Um, it's, it's a California one. I could, California. I could hold it up again if that's helpful. Yeah. Here, let's see. Hey, from Michigan. So, um, Kribari, that's what we're hey using. Hey, Anne, thanks for joining us. Um, and if you are just joining us, take a, take, we've got several links in the description. And one of the first one is to donate to the victims of Las Vegas, the shooting there. There's also um, a link for uh, the Instant Pot that oh. we're using right now. So Camille's gonna yeah. show you that. So next up is the beef broth. You'll just need one can, about 14 to 16 ounces. Just dump that right in. And then we will be adding three cloves of garlic chopped but I just like to buy the pre-chopped garlic so I'm going to add two tablespoons of that. Well, I'm just going to hang on that. Yeah. We like garlic around here we do. so. Okay so do I do I leave these whole or do I need to cut these now? We're leaving them whole. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So those are ready. We're going to leave the potatoes whole because then it can d deal with the pressure of the Instant Pot, right? Sharing again because, thanks Candice, super appreciate it. Thank you so much. So we're also going to be putting in... Timmy says that my daughter says that oh. looks good. Oh, good. What else are we going to do? Could you fourth... So we're going to have two onions that we're putting in. We're just... You don't have to chop them up small. Just cut them into quarters, and we're going to put it in in the bottom as well. Okay, just fours? Yeah, okay. fours. And then we're also adding a cup of baby carrots, and I'm just going to put those right in the bottom. Can you add the drippings from the frying pan? Absolutely. Mine, I don't have very many drippings, but you absolutely could do that. When you're done with this, you are 
welcome to turn it into a gravy by adding cornstarch. So, of course, anything like that that you want to add, I think would be, would make it taste even better. Okay, so we're also adding uh, three sprigs of thyme. So we're going to put three of those just on top. I'm sure they're treated. What does the front say? Uh, just rinse them. Yeah, yeah, I'll just rinse them just in case. Yeah. Okay, I've got onions cut, potatoes cut. Okay, so we have our thyme, and we will also be putting the turret in now now that we're done, that's everything for the meat. Now we're going to be putting in the turret, which holds the potatoes up above the meat. Turret or trivet? What is it? Trivet? Trivet? Trivet. I think it's trivet. Turret? Is that I always say it wrong. People, like a big like cannon or something? Probably. It's one of those days. Trivet. Okay. Yeah. Can I just say, I'm probably putting this in wrong. I don't know this thing. Well, as long as it's just separating, it's like separating on top it. Of the... Do you think I should put it like this? That's too wiggly. Yeah. I think we have to do it like this. Yeah, that'll work. Ta da! Yep, that'll do it. Okay, so here we go with this, and we still have enough space. We're going potatoes? to put, uh huh. Okay. So these are big, the big boys, the big russet potatoes, and we are adding six. Oh, we forgot to put the onions in, though. We got to put those in underneath. Underneath the? Yeah. Okay. Underneath the potatoes. Oh, 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 Is that all of it? Yeah. Okay, so it. that was two onions just quartered. And then, you know they what? Were, they were pretty small onions, guys. Yeah, they were small. Is it okay if this is double layered? Um, yes, it should be. Okay. Yep, six large peeled. And now we're going okay. to be sealing it and cooking it on high. So, for if you are new to the Instant Pot, I'm going to give you just a quick... Oh, do you see my dog? That's Poppy. And he's a little under the weather. He has been sick all weekend. It's been so heartbreaking. And he's just my best buddy. Thanks, Valerie. She's like, don't forget the onion. Oh, did she remember? Yeah, she totally oh, did. She's awesome. Um, what's your dog's name? Yeah, so it's Poppy. Poppy. Okay, Tennis. so for those of you who are watching the first time, this is what the Instant Pot top looks like. There is a venting side here and then a ceiling side here. When you are putting the lid on, you want to make sure that it is pointed to the ceiling side to actually seal it and not over here. And then this button will pop when it is pressurized and you know that it is cooking. Keep in mind that when you are doing this, you do need to add cook time for the actual sealing process. So even though we're only going to be cooking this for 20 minutes, there will be some additional time added onto that because it'll take some time to seal. So. If you are sealing your Instant Pot, you want to look at the front and there are tabs here that tell you where to put and line up the arrows, Whoop. where the arrows are on the pot to line it up and the Instant Pot will make a sound when you do that so you know that you're doing it right. So here we go. I'm going to line up these arrows. I kind of have a bad angle for them. Oh, you know what? I wonder if this... Is that in the way? It might be. Okay, let's just, I can put them in. Yep. There we go. Okay, I hope you could hear that among my dog walking around. And we're going to be cooking this on high. So we're going to go to manual pressure. Would you, could you see what I'm filming? I don't know if they can see. So we're going to go to, we're on manual. And we're going to be cooking it on high pressure for 20 minutes. So we count up to 20. And once you're done getting it there, you just leave it. And then the Instant Pot will start to seal and cook. So you don't, you don't need to press start or anything like that. It will just automatically start once we get there. It'll beep us. Yeah. So it's beeping. Say, okay, I'm ready for you. Candice asked if we uh, thought about growing an herb garden. Oh, and, I would love to. Well, and You're both, way better at it than me. Both of us actually do. We just don't do it inside. and Which we should. We, I didn't do time this year. Did you, uh -huh. no. did you grow time? Yeah, I no. didn't grow time either. Um, I'm always running out of time. Yeah, uh -huh. right? <laughs> I'm such a dork. 
Um, <clears throat> okay, so if you're just joining us, uh, we're doing roast in an Instant Pot mm -hmm. with... Pot roast and mashed potatoes in the Instant Pot. Mm -hmm. And now we are going to show you how to make scotcheroos, which are so good. She's been raving about these for like a month, so we are like, it's probably Hopefully it lives up to it. I don't see why it would. I don't know. You're good, you have a good sense of taste, so I'm sure right? it'd be fine. Okay, and also, if you... If you just joined us too, um, look at look at the links that we have in our description. And I'm not going to put my arm on the instant pot just in case that it gets would hot. Be good. Um, but we've got a link uh, for uh, the instant pot. It's on mm -hmm. its best deal that it's been since Prime Day. Thirty percent off. Thirty yeah. percent off. Uh, the the other link that we have is all the recipes are are in there. So mm -hmm. share this to your wall. That way you can have all these things saved. Especially if you can't stick around the whole time, it'll save to your wall, then you can come back to it. If you need to. Yeah, and and, and the then when you get that instant pot in the mail, then you'll have your first recipe this that you can do. This will be an amazing one to wow all your friends. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the last link, which is actually the first one, is to help donate to the victims of the shooting last night, which is my hometown, Las Vegas. Um, yeah. So we're gonna move on to Scotcheroos. Yes. Okay. Okay, so you're going to need to have a big bowl. This is very similar to cooking up Rice Krispies, but you're going to start with um, like heating up the mixture together first. So we're actually going to start over at the stove. Okay, I'll move this over there. Um, hey, Ashley. Hey, Dallin. Thanks for joining us. I don't know where my um, is. Cynthia, hopefully we just answered your question. Uh, Candice, she has spicy oregano thyme, and I had mint, but some cutworms got to it. Rosemary and sweet basil. Uh, Candice, have you done Thai basil? Because that's probably my favorite, is, uh, is Thai basil. Sorry, all the lights we've got going on in the background. Um, Tilo, hey, thanks for joining us. Um, prayers for your family. Thanks, Sandra. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, you guys, like... I believe in prayers or thoughts or positive vibes or whatever you want to throw out there um, to the people of Las Vegas. Um, those are, that's my family, that's my home. And uh, so I obviously have been thinking about them all day today. Um, hi guys, sorry to hear about your hometown. Lots of love from Los Angeles. Thanks Los Angeles, super appreciate Rosario. Um, I haven't grown that type yet. I've ate Vietnamese basil too many times with pho, lol. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pho. Yeah, super good. Super good. Are you going to start us on the... What, yeah. do you, what do you need? Sorry, I'm just looking for a saucepan. Okay. I'm I have a Hold on. We'll get you a saucepan so you, we can all do this together. Is that going to work? Gonna just you two, and we'll both do it. Or maybe I should just get a big pot. Yes. Get the big okay. pot. Get the, get the blue one. The cute blue one? The blue one. Let's just follow... Camille, into the into her oh, pantry, no. her super clean pantry. Look it's, at that. It's so super clean. It's so good. <laughs> Not really. It's so good. Okay, we're just gonna use this big boy. Yeah. I normally I would like to use a big saucepan, but my saucepan has gone the way of the ghost. It is. Oh. It kind it's of gone. died. It's gone. Okay. So. Yeah. What? It's just uh, clean my house. Oh, well, I need help. <laughs> um, hey, Valencia, could could you, you would you mind just tagging um, Camille's page and my page on there, and then I can pin it? Are you if if you're able to do that? Um, will it let us? Will it let anyone do that when we're live? Will it let so. you tag people? I think so. Okay. It should. Just give it a try. If it doesn't work, thanks anyways. But Yeah. Okay, okay. so we've got a big pot here. Got a big pot. I don't know if that's necessary, honestly, but it's better safe than sorry. Better than a small saucepan. Yeah. What a lovely kitchen, says Rosario. Oh, thank you. Um, Jess says it won't let us. Okay. Oh, okay. We'll do it at the end. We'll have to tag it at the end. Yeah. Okay, so this is not the most healthy recipe, but it's worth it. <laughs> so you're starting it's with... Light. <laughs> it's light. It's light corn syrup. Uh, oh, thanks, Jess, for trying. So we're going to start with two cups. And I just have this on medium to medium high heat. We're just going to be blending the sugars together. Um, Shane, do you want to grab just the regular sugar yeah. there? We're going to be... Oh, that's a little bit of a sizzle action. Oh, is that high? I think it's high from when I cooked the steak. So. Oh, okay. 
Okay, so that's cup number one. Here's our second cup. Now this is, because this uses kind of a lot of expensive, I mean not expensive, but it, the recipe does call for a couple bags of chocolate chips and the caro syrup. And <laughs> it's, it's a little more spendy because of that, I guess, but it's totally worth it in my opinion. It's a cheat day kind of recipe then. Yeah. <laughs> so those are sorry. Yes, this is totally, cheat day. Yeah, Absolutely. 100%. Okay, so we are going to be putting together corn syrup, peanut butter, and sugar in this large pot. How much sugar do you need? I need two cups of sugar. Okay. And I also I, need two. Can I put two... that right in? Yeah. Okay. But we're going to be stirring as we go. Okay. So we just need to be careful. Do you want me to stir and you yep. can add? Yep. Okay. So you said two cups, right? Two cups. Okay, I'm gonna count out loud because this is only a half a cup. So one, that's what I always do in the kitchen is count out loud. Yeah. Because then you have a better chance of remembering what your last number was. Right. Two. This is a really fun one to make with kids too because it's not complicated at all. Like you really can't screw it up. So it's a fun one Three. for the kids to help out. Four, okay, that's two cups right there. Okay. Now we need two cups of peanut butter. I will show you my favorite peanut butter of the year. This one? Yes. So this is Walmart's generic brand of peanut butter, peanut butter, natural peanut butter, no stir creamy. It is so good. This is not a sponsored moment. I just really like their peanut butter. It really <laughs> is really good. I don't blame you at all. So do we need two, two cups. cups of that? Yeah. So we're just constantly stirring this, and Shane's going to add the peanut butter when he's done texting. <laughs> Shane? Sorry. I will get you in 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Just you, You've got such good stirring arms. Totally. And, uh, you got to work out some of the calories. Yeah. Can so, I Rosario, stick? this is called Scotcheroos. It will change your life. <laughs> Valencia likes Jif Smuckers. Ooh. Um, okay. Ready? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to, because I was like, I, how do I get this in there? Um, that looks like half a cup, right? Maybe? Mm, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's like half a cup. Okay. We need two cups, right? Two cups. Okay. So I'm going to turn so up the heat a little bit to get this peanut one. butter going. If you're a peanut butter fan, these will not disappoint. That's like two. What I like about this recipe is that you fill a big cookie sheet with the treat, and it can serve a lot of people. So even a small square of this treat is worthwhile. Like it's not one that you feel like Three. you've been cheated if it's a small bit, but you'll just want to keep eating it. <laughs> I think we just use the rest of this, so it'll be about two cups. Okay. Um, unless you want to put a little bit more. So Rosario, be. I'm all in then. I am a Jif snot, lol, or the Fresh Maid. Oh, I've never done the Fresh Maid. I haven't. I did it the last Can't time I did that? it was in first grade. We made it in first grade. Can't you just do it like at Smith's, where they have like oh, where yeah, you can you totally make your can. own? Yeah, like. Yeah. So we're just blending this until it incorporates. So this is the corn, light corn syrup, peanut butter, and sugar. How many how many cups of corn syrup did you put in? So there's two cups of each. Okay, two, two, so two. So that's easy to remember. Yeah. But it's starting, it kind of gets like a caramely texture. So that's what you're going for. You'll just want to incorporate it all so that it's nice and smooth. The, the trick is going to be getting it out of this big pan. I probably could have fit it in just a small one, but oh well. This will make it interesting, right? Jess, thanks for that. I just pinned your comment. Um, oh, yes. Tip. Thank you for sharing. Oh, is this like Muddy Buddies? I love Muddy Buddies. And if you go back in our history, we actually made a really legit um, pumpkin spice Muddy Buddy that oh, we yeah. made for the show. That's been a long time ago. It has been. When it's, was that? It was like over a month ago. It feels like longer. Um, yeah, probably. It was Muddy like, Buddies? Yeah, Pumpkin Spice Muddy Buddies. Yeah, you weren't oh. there that episode. Um, oh, I'm like, um, this isn't sounding familiar. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. 
Um, but all of our videos that we make here are on Facebook. They're also on YouTube at My Mommy Style. So YouTube.com forward slash My Mommy Style. But you can look through the Facebook history and find them as well. Don't mind me. I'm just cleaning the spoon. Ew. <laughs> Don't stick it back in. Okay. So we need 10 cups of Rice Krispies and we're going to be pouring this on top. So this, what I love about this recipe is that you can pre-measure the the Rice Krispies first and then just pour it on top and incorporate it. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you're doing the whole like sticky marshmallow, you know what I'm saying? Should I measure them out in the bowl? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. So, so we're going to move this over. Are you, are you going to measure that out? Yeah. Okay. Right here. Okay. Are you going to move over? Yep. Okay. Okay. I'll just keep stirring this. So okay. I'm just uh, measuring this out and I've got a half a cup, so it's going to take me, me what, 20 times? Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I keep thinking I'm going to find something. <laughs> Three? <laughs> yeah. Eight. <laughs> Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Not quite. Fifteen. Probably closer to 16, actually. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Hopefully your kids are watching and you could count together. So it's 10 to 12 cups, so we're going to eyeball it and see if we need to add any more okay. Rice Krispies. But for now, you might need to help me hold up this pot because it's like okay. giant. I'm just going to get our camera just a little bit more. Um, you want me to hold the pot while you do your thing? Yeah, that okay. would be fantastic. I think we need to... Um, watching energy. Thanks, Rosario. You're so sweet. Thanks for joining us. And run over to, do you want me to pour it in here? Yes. Okay. Run over to our pages, guys. Uh, My Mommy Style and um, Shane Horlocker. And give us some likes and give us a little bit of love. And then you'll know every time we go live and we share lots of recipes. And Camille's been doing a lot of uh, Instant Pot recipes, which we all love. Yeah, it's been, I think there's been a really high demand for it. So, just a little bit. Sorry, you can't really see the best angle here. I'm trying to get it all in. It's okay, I'll clean this one too. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> it's not a bad problem to have, right? Totally. My kids wish they were here right now. Yeah. Okay. Good? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to kind of get... clean my edge off. Or... Oh, you're going to go in there again? Um, Let's see. I'm going to try to stir this first and then decide okay. if, it, if it's worth like scraping the last bit. Okay, so we're going to incorporate this now. And I wonder, it probably would have been better if I was stirring and going at the same time. But Candace, I'm still here washing dishes and stuff. <laughs> Hi! Hi! So glad you guys are still here. Um, if you are just joining us, we have the pot roast and um, prep for mashed potatoes in the Instant Pot right now. And Camille's been raging about these scotcheroos. Oh my gosh. For... They're like heaven in a bar form. So we finally got around Maybe to Maybe I should figure them. out how to incorporate like protein powder so they're not so bad. <laughs> so there's like a, like a purpose that to them. That redeeming quality. Yeah. But they're just delicious. Like, yeah. there's no other explanation than that. Oh, Faith says, I've had these before, but made them with cornflakes. Yes. I'm sure you could... Ooh, I bet that would be good, too. Yeah. Cornflakes would be good. I wonder... You could probably use... Lots of kinds of Lots cereal. of different cereals. Or, I wonder even cereal? oatmeal. Could, okay. No, I think we'll be good. Okay. I think this is... 
It's even going to take me a minute. I think you need a wooden spoon. Do you know where you Um, somewhere. Just for a little more leverage? Yeah, that would be good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Jenny, my first time watching too, found you from Mama Loves Food. Yeah, Yay. Jenny, thanks for joining us. Thank you for coming. Yeah. And if you miss Shane singing, it was so good. If we're if it's a lucky day, we get to hear Shane sing, and he's going <laughs> to sing for us again at the end. Um, yes, Faith, my grandmother used to make them with cornflakes too. Cool. I'm glad other people out there have made these, because I had never even heard of them. Yeah. Um, so make sure to share this to your wall. That way you have the recipe saved. Um, also, it it uh, helps us out. We love that. Um, and there's lots of links. Okay, if you're looking to get the Instant Pot, get yourself an Instant Pot because it's um, it's the best deal since Prime Day. And we also have in there the links to the recipes. I forgot to link to my mommy style. I'm super sorry, Camille. It's okay. Um, we can link after. Yeah. I forgot to link our pages, so it probably just like says our name or doesn't say our yeah. name at all. It says... Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> oh, I'm getting there. I'm like at least burning one of these scotcheroos worth of, yeah. of stirring here. Oh yeah, that's just looking so good <laughs> over there. Do you have enough of the like scotcheroos I mean, stuff? A little bit more could be helpful. Oh. I'm feeling a little bit dry on this underside. I don't know if it'll make too big of a difference, but. It's looking like I've coated almost all of it. I think we're, I think we're okay. Are you? There might be a couple dry, well, we'll just leave those last little bits at the bottom and not worry too much about it. Okay, so I've this makes, oh, do you? you? Okay, sure, bring it over. <laughs> Rosario says, oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. Okay, so the yummiest thing about this whole situation is what's going to go on top. Oh, yeah, that'll be helpful. Thank you. Oh, so it's just pressurized right now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fold this in. Now, when you are putting this out on your pan, I like to make sure that my pan has been sprayed, but you are not cooking it again. Like, this is it. After this, we're just going to be making the frosting that goes on top, so there's not a ton of steps involved. Um, I'll do this as, <laughs> as gently as I can, but it may not be. Really pretty, we'll see. Sandra says, love when you sing. It's a pumpkin pie dinner kind of night, y'all. Ooh, that sounds really good. Oh, that does sound good. Um, that looks so good. Hi, how are you tonight? Doing really good, Connie. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> How's it going? I'm just... You're, I'm, you're so good at this. Mostly. Uh, so at this. <laughs> great. Okay, so we're going to flatten this out. This is like an art form. Totally. Thanks, Jazz. Uh, looks great, says Sandra. Thanks, Sandra. I know you have my back. <laughs> After I spread it out for the most part, I would. I am planning to, unless you want to, Shane, spray hmm. your hands and kind of like mash it oh, down yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Could you do that Where's for your, me? Uh, spray? Just here. And then we can get going on the. On his very clean hands, yep. might we add? Yep. I have washed them a lot tonight. <laughs> okay. Do you just want me to press it all down? Yeah, just kind of smooth it out best you can. And okay. do you want to grab just the extra on there? Perfect. Oh, yeah. Is that therapeutic? It That's is. That's got to feel good. It does. It's great. <laughs> it's a life changer. Basically, if you're not doing this with your hands, like, you're losing out. Okay, so to make the frosting that's going on top, you're going to be mixing a cup of butterscotch chocolate chips. Oh, as this isn't well. the end? It keeps no, going? No, it keeps going. Oh my goodness. And a cup of chocolate, chocolate chips. So we're going to be doing a cup of each, and then we're just going to be melting that over in, in the stove, just stirring as we go. So I'm going to prep that. 
Um, are you using like a double broiler? How are you doing this? No. Nope. Are you melting the chocolate? Just over this on the stove, just in a pan. Have, are you okay with that? Have you done that before? Sure. Okay. Just stirring. Yeah, because well, it, like are you chocolate. Are gonna like burn it? Chocolate just burns. Really yeah, quickly. you just you just have to be slow. Don't oh, okay. be too. Um, because you could use a double broiler with a, like a glass bowl. Oh well, that's okay. Okay. Really I won't easy. be fancy about it unless you want to. Um, I just, I did it on the pumpkin spice, uh, oh. Muddy Buddies recipe. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Is, am I, okay. It, it just worked out really well. That was oh, okay. actually, Katie did it. And so that's, oh, nice. I just like watched her do it and it was, it With was really good. With the glass over the top? Yeah. So you just like water in the bowl, glass top. That would be, that would be fancy. Yeah. Can I just show them how to do it? It's really simple. Sure. You're I've done melting. it. Yeah. I've done that before. Okay. But, oh. but let's show it just. Yeah, for it's just like a good, I think it's like a good thing for people to see. Yeah, especially if they've never seen it before. Yeah. Do you have a glass bowl or is that where you're um, asking too much? I have now? ceramic. I'm oh, trying to think of. Maybe we don't show it then. Shoot, I'm trying to think of what glass bowl it is. I don't think I have one. Oh, okay. Just do it on the sofa. It's right. It's fine. No, 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 no. That would have My been bad. I was like trying to throw off her game while we're <laughs> here. Trying to throw a curveball at her. Jeez, James. Okay, so she's just adding in. A, um, a cup. cup of each, yep. butterscotch uh, morsels, and chocolate chips. Yes. Right? Uh-huh. Okay, what else is going in there? Is it just those two That's things? That's it. Okay, and so we're going to pop this on the stove? We're going to pop this on the stove. Oh, and the smell of the butterscotch. It's oh, just man. so good. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. You can smell it. I know you can. Just smell a vision. Smell a vision. I can't remember what else says Candace. Oh, are you trying to guess the ingredients? I missed... I missed a comment of someone. Okay, I'll pull up the comments while you do this and I'll get you situated over here. We'll take it nice and slow because we don't want to burn the chocolate. Yeah, okay, and so if you have done this before, it you can do like a glass bowl on top, right, with, with the water underneath. So you're, the water's boiling and it makes it really easy so you don't have to worry about burning your chocolate at all. Um, but Camille's a professional, so she's just going to do it without okay. that. Now that you say that, I'm going to totally screw it up. <laughs> what do you think I should use for stirring? This one? Mm -hmm. All right, kids. But it's so floppy. I know, it is, but that is going to ruin your pan. <laughs> <sighs> you keep me in line. Um, I could turn this off. Um, so I want to know who has tried this before. This is a really fun treat for if you have some Halloween fun things coming up. This would definitely feed a crowd. Also, if you want Halloween themed drinks or treats that like little kids think would think are fun, we have about 30 of each on the blog. So if you're looking for fun themed drinks, or Halloween treats. No, tell them what the blog is too. Oh, sorry. The blog is mymommystyle.com. We already have people sharing and pinning our content for Christmas, if you'd believe it, which I was pretty surprised. I got most of it off of Oh, that. thank you. Oh, thanks. I just wanted to look at it. Oh, <laughs> I see how it is. So yeah, there's a, a ton of fun things. There's also a a zombie birthday party that we've had and we showcased on the blog that has a lot of really fun zombie themed drinks and treats if you want to check that out there's a lot of fun recipes that are easy to do and that kids love um jim is a genius too you can't see he was like using another pan to flatten is easier shortcut <laughs> to flatten ellipsis the pan like the oh, pan of stuff that yeah is that is smart Pamela, Kelly, Candace, I haven't tried it yet, but I want to do it. To do what? Uh, probably your recipe. When you're oh, about. yeah. Because okay. you asked if people had done that. How are we doing on the Instant Pot? It's pressurized. Um, Pamela, also the ingredients are listed in the description. So if you share this to your wall, then you will have all of the recipes. But thank you, Candace and Faith, um, for sharing what the ingredients are. Catherine, hey, thanks for joining. Um, I will check on the Instant Pot. Ooh, almost looked at the 16 minutes to go. Okay. So it did pressurize. Okay, good. So this is starting to melt. We're doing good. 
And it's also, you know, I've cooked, I've melted chocolate quite a few times mm -hmm. in the microwave. Yeah, well, and it's so funny. as long as you funny. do it spurts, Victoria like, just, just oh, said Oh, did she that. just say yeah, that? Yeah, she was just like, why not melt the chips in the microwave? Yeah. Kelly, thanks so much for sharing. Super because we have that. 16 minutes on the Instant Pot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're like killing time. Oh, you know what? Is, Good. um, who wrote Leaving on a Jet Plane? I don't know. Was that, am, am I... I, was just thinking. I don't think it was James Taylor. If that's no, not James Taylor. Oh, Tom I thought Petty. Oh, Tom Petty. Who wrote that, guys? I just know it's a song I know. I feel that like he sing. sang it, didn't he? You need to do that that one you did before, though. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I was just like, we've is... we've got time. I could do it one in the middle. Oh, gotcha. See, this almost looks like we're gonna be shy of some chocolate. Like, Ooh. will there really be enough? John Denver. I was not even close. Oh, not even close. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. All right. Some good things are happening in here. Yeah, Candace is like, smaller batches of microwave. It's finally coming along. Yes. Thanks, Victoria. She totally got it. She's like, John Denver. So something to keep in mind when you are cooking with an instant pot is that you want to be very careful when you're opening and removing the lid uh, as you can either manually like depressurize the, the instant pot or you can let it depressurize on its own. There's a chicken cordon bleu recipe that I have on the blog that I love and that one is actually best if you just let it kind of do its thing. and depressurize on its own. It makes it so that the top gets crispy and crunchy rather than um, getting too soupy, which is a good thing to remember. Cool. Are you... Am I melting it too much? Mm, what? Are I you getting know. nervous? No, you're good. Okay. You're good. Did we need to grease the pan? Is that what we needed? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's getting melted. It'll get on the stuff. It'll be great. We'll, we'll smear it out, but it is getting kind of hard. Yeah, maybe it's maybe it's going too far. Maybe we need to like, how melty is it? I don't know. <laughs> maybe we need to add some butter to maybe, it. Maybe. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Here, I've got some right here. Did you? Did but you, you know what? I think if we spread it out, it'll butter? be fine. No, it doesn't. Put a little oil, says Stacy. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Um, maybe just a little olive oil. Oh yeah, you got some right here? Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't, that won't mess with the flavor. I just like butter. Just a tiny bit. Okay. Cause it's starting to get a little brickish. There we go. Yeah. Whew. Thanks for the save, Stacy. <laughs> it's still looking a little bit. Ooh, it's okay, it's getting bitter. A little more smearing like. Fall and Mary in 1967. Ooh. Now John we're getting Denver. into history of all this wonderful music. Yeah. Add, okay. add cream cheese, says Candace. That's looking good. That is looking good. Yeah, that was just the right amount to make it Whew. more like frosty. Sheesh, that's why you guys are here. Sheesh! You add a tablespoon of oil, your chocolate stuff, it helps from the seizing, from seizing up. Okay. Cool. John Denver did sing his rendition as well. Valerie, Valerie with the trivia out Valerie, here. Valerie, she's she's schooling us. Yeah, guys, you know this is gonna taste good. So if you're just joining us, we are making scotcheroos. Um, here, I'll take your pan. You're done. Oh, thanks. I'm and, just laughing. Uh, I'm like, this is. Good. I'm gonna be so graceful. Yeah, watch, watch this. Maybe I don't want that flimsy guy. You stick with the stick with the, the beastie. Coconut oil, that totally would work too. Ooh yeah, that would have been a better flavor too. We were just feeling kinda of olivey out there. Um <laughs> Valerie says thanks, Google. <laughs> 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 keeping it real, Valerie, keeping it real. So if you are just joining us, Scotcheroos is what we're finishing up right now in the instant pot, right? Right over there, you can see it. I'll even like pan to it a little bit if uh, this doesn't fall out, because that's a concern. It's happened before. It has happened before. I think I want to add more chocolate. Okay? Right over there in the Instant Pot. Um, really? Because this looks great. Okay. Um, it's just, I hate when it gets like sparse in the corners. You have to keep spreading it, spreading the love. Yeah, this is like the reverse of, of something, of a dessert, you know, where you like normally you want the corner piece. This is like, 
you want the middle piece now. <laughs> um, it, over there we've got pot but I'm roast. A perfectionist. And... I'm like, I want to get it all to the corner. Yeah, and Camille, I'm a recovering perfectionist, so <laughs> for your sake, I'm gonna go ahead and say we're not doing it anymore. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, this is exposure therapy <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh, you cannot be a mother of four and be a perfectionist. <laughs> I was I'll like, just say. I was like, let's be serious. Yeah, You're not a perfectionist. No, <laughs> I mean, there are certain things I like to have certain ways if I can, but. Yeah. You have to let a lot of things go with children and you learn what, what things are important and what, and what things, things to just let go of. Did I just get garlic on your scotch roof? I hope not. But I you hope, like garlic. That could be I your piece. I hope you just like smoothed it in right now. <laughs> <laughs> just a little extra love. Yeah. <laughs> Am I... Do I have any extra left over? Connie, thanks for joining us. Um, you can... Tr Kind of scrape the bottom of this here, if you want. That really hardened. Um, hi, vacationing, um, the vacation Connie in Kentucky. Whoa! Awesome. Even on vacation, you're hanging out with yeah, us. Yeah, thanks, Connie. You're so awesome. Thank you. Sandra, love John Denver. Used to listen to him on my eight track driving to Texas. Oh, that's classic. Richard, what's up, man? Thanks for joining. Oh, I love it. LOL, Rosario, Jenny, True. Uh, you can't be a mom of one and be a perfectionist. Yeah. You can't be a mom of one and be a perfectionist. It's true. So if you have four, you're yeah, you're done. It's true. Is that full? Is that full sheet? Full pan? Yes. Yes, it is. It's com that's why it feeds so many. That's what's so great about it. Totally. It's incredible. Um, should I like sing again while we're leaving? Yeah. Or we do we do you need? Do you have something else we're doing? I'm interrupting. <clears throat> Do you want to turn the camera to you? Um, I'll, I'll just start and then you can turn it if you want to. I'm just scraping every last bit of chocolate. <laughs> Don't want to waste any. Right. arrangement of the song that uh, our our state song in Nevada because I'm from Nevada I'm from Las Vegas um, and this is just like my own rendition of the song just a little tribute to uh, my home state and my hometown and all the victims out there and we've provided a link in the description that you can run over to and uh, donate um, to help support, you know, medical bills and, and uh, everything else that goes along with uh, mass shooting. So, <clears throat> home means Nevada, home means the hills, home means the sage and the pines, out by the truckies, silvery rills. Shines. There is a land that I love the best, fairer than all I can see, right in the heart of the golden west, home means Nevada to me. the only one that means home sweet home to me if you follow the old Ken Carson trail until the desert meets the hills oh you certainly will agree with me it's a place of a thousand thrills home means nevada home means the hills 
Home means the sage and the pines Out by the truckies Silvery rills Out where the sun always shines There is a land That I love the best To me, home means Nevada to me. Thanks, guys. Thanks for all the uh, the hearts and loves while I sing. Thank you for saving me from yeah. the Scotcheroos. Um, so a lot of people thought we were leaving. Yeah, that I know. was an intermission. That was an intermission. Sorry, Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> we're still that. we're still cooking here, so stick yeah. with us for a little bit. Um, but. Uh, mm -hmm. Are these like ready or do you have to? These are ready. So for those of you who are just tuning in or who have been with us all along, we are cooking an instant pot pot roast and instant pot mashed potatoes. So those are pressurizing and cooking and we made scotcheroos and they have about four minutes left until they are done. So that was a little intermission. Yep, Beautiful little intermission. Song. Thank you. Thank you for Thank doing you. that. But yeah, we could we could eat dessert first. Yeah, that, is that can we do it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so while the instant pot's still going, we're just gonna show you a little dessert. We got four minutes. Four it's minutes. So close, so close. So um, you would want to let this cool a little bit because it becomes more bar-like, I guess, like a, you know. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Um, <clears throat> thanks, Becky. Super appreciate it. Sandra, thank you. Rosario, thank you. Very nice. Thank you, Jenny. Bonnie, you're awesome. Love, hugs, thoughts, and prayers. Thanks, Sandra. Dinner and a show, says yes, Jane. Yes, yes. <laughs> Great job, Jane. Thanks. Thanks, Valencia. Thanks, Rosario. Um, okay, if somebody is watching, can you do me a favor? And we've had the one thing pinned up for a little while, but can we? Can somebody grab the link from the description and post it? It's got. It's the first. The first link that's up there. And if you could just write like donate here, and. Uh, and then I can pin that, donate here, and then have that link so that people will get right to it. So this is like hot, like warm, but it should, like when you're eating it, you do let it cool. Probably for an hour oh would be best, but that. we're going to eat it warm. Look at that. Let's show up close. Oh, yeah. You got it. Oh, man. Uh -huh. It's like oozing and it's drippy. It's so good. So good. Cheers? Yeah, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Good, right? Wow. It's not good. Mm -hmm. It like takes the rice crispy and multiplies it by 10. Totally. Or 100. Hi, Laura. <laughs> we should need to stop eating I know. It's like peanut buttery. I know. It's amazing. This is so real right now, you guys. Seriously. Seriously, you need to make this recipe for sure. So while we're chewing in your faces, mm -hmm. <laughs> tell us where you're watching from because we have three minutes left on the Instant Pot and then we'll switch gears yeah. to that. Yep, let us know. Um, Joanne, great job, Shane. Th thoughts and prayers to all who are affected. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, Laura, hi guys. Rosario, enjoy. Looks delish. Hey, Jess, are you still on? Give me a give me a heart or something if you're still there. Bonnie, Wisconsin, what's up, Bonnie? How are we doing? I just can I guys, can I can I eat this? I'm like, it's gonna prevent me from talking. Alabama. Jess, can you hi, I see your heart's there. Can you look at the description and copy that first link and then put it in the comments and then I can pin it? That'd be great. I was going to edit it awesome. while you were going, but I didn't want to like mess it up. Oh, no. I can edit it. Oh, okay. I just don't wanna whatever. Yeah. Super sorry about that. Hello from North Florida, <laughs> Diane, California, Sandra, Yay. Michigan, Becky, Alabama, mm -hmm. Wisconsin. I want to look tall. Can I, I want to eat this. Yes. I'm really sorry. Please eat. All these fun places. Perfect. Okay, I think this is just Thanks, about Josh. done. I'm going to have to, so when you're doing cooking with the Instant Pot, you do have to depressurize it and that's going to be noisy for just a minute. So mm -hmm. I'm going to grab a rag to put over. Okay. And we're super close. One minute. It's a final countdown. 
What's up? So when we take these out, just to kind of give you a clue, a clue, just to give get you a clue, clue guys. get a clue, <laughs> a t uh, what would you say? A countdown? I'm having major brain, like, I don't know what I'm saying. We're going to take these Words mashed potatoes hard. out, <laughs> or these potatoes, and turn them into mashed potatoes. And because we did cook six big guys, I'm a little bit nervous about that. Hopefully that they're like all done, because they're big. So I am depressurizing it right now. If this rag was off, it becomes a steam like that. So I'm just covering it up so it's not so loud. A breakdown? Sure. Having a breakdown. A steaming facial right now? Yeah. I think I might be getting a massage this weekend with my husband because it's our 13 year anniversary. 13 years. Sounds like you need a massage at 13 years. Basically, yeah. <laughs> I could use one anytime. <laughs> But we are going to do an overnighter, just us without the kids. We're really excited about that. And we're doing family pictures the next day, like extended family. Which is basically his favorite thing I know. in the whole world. So he's going to need a massage. Basically. The problem is the massage is before the pictures. Ooh. So that's a little bit in reverse. But it's going to be really crazy. No, maybe the word you're looking for. Close enough. Bonnie says happy anniversary. Thank you. Yeah, 13 years. That's. That is worth celebrating. I think every year of marriage oh, is a not celebration. A, not a breakdown. Rosario was saying like a breakdown of, of what you're going to explain. Like yeah. The word, yeah. Oh, a breakdown. Yeah. Not like a, you're having a breakdown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well. Can't say I've can ever had a At spa least I'm not in tears. Or a massage. Ooh. Happy anniversary, says, says Kim. Thank Sandra. you. Um, Jess. I think Jess. we might do a couple's massage. Jess. That's pretty fun. It's time for an intervention. What? I'm going to tell you what you need to do. A spa day? Yeah. You need to do a spa day. You need to go to a massage. Okay, look. <laughs> He's getting really serious. If the finger comes out mm. in the tilted head, tilted you head. know you're, yeah. Jess, and I got taller. Thanks for explaining. Um, but, <laughs> so, okay, you know what I do? <sighs> I go over to the schools. Oh, yeah. I so I get them fun. all the time. Oh, you know well, what I mean? Cause I, like, can't, I can't even leave my house. Like I know. Anymore. I'm sorry. But I'm jealous about that. Single life. Yeah. But yeah, the schools are amazing. Yeah, and it's like, like I'm paying like 35 bucks. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Which school it's do you go worth to? It. There's one Lincoln? right in my neighborhood. What? Yeah, in Woods Cross. Oh. Yeah. That's good It's now. super small school, but like. Perfect. Hello. Thank you. Oh, Candace, you're sweet. Happy anniversary, so rad. Oh, you're sweet. You look so young too. Wow, oh. 13 years. Thank you. I basically got married when I was 12. <laughs> We're in Utah, so they might think that's real. No, I was I was almost 21, but still I was a baby. You were young. You were baby. young. I know my one of my friends got married at 17, and and the, the joke was, well, your husband's gonna have to finish raising you. Oh. That was kind of the joke. Burn. That's what I okay. mean. It, they're really. But they happy. liked each other. But they liked it. It it worked out great. Who's saying this? Huh? Who was saying this? This was just like family. The oh. family was saying this. It was a yeah. Joke. Okay, good. All in good jest. All in good jest. This is still, it's still coming. Hey, Ella, thank you. <laughs> hey, and if you're, Tony, what's up, man? Hey, if you guys are just joining us, don't forget to go to the, share this to your wall, first of all, and then check out the links in the description so that you can get yourself an Instant Pot. Mm -hmm. Cheapest price off today. since Prime Day. And we've got yeah. all the links for the recipes that we're sharing today. It's Scotcheroos and... Pot roast with mashed potatoes yep. and all the fixins. Yes. Um, and then there's also that first one, and it's also pinned here. Uh, you can donate to the fund, the GoFundMe for the victims of last night's shooting in Las Vegas, which is my hometown, home means Nevada. Um, yeah. So share this to your wall. And thank it. you for being here. Yeah. Even while being we here. wait for this to be. I know. Right. We're just like it. Wish we should show them what we're doing here. It's just, uh, it's just a... And I love how I've been, like, waving it as if that's going to do anything. Yeah, other way. Oh, here we go. There you go. Oh, actually, would you heat up some milk for me? Yes. How much milk do you need? We need... Let me check. Like, on the stove or in the microwave? Just in the microwave is fine. A cup of hot milk. Cup of hot milk. So we right need three-fourths cup of butter, so that's one and a half sticks, softened to room temperature, 
a teaspoon of salt, I'm gonna the butter first. a cup of water, and a cup of hot milk. Oh, but the water is for the Instant Pot, so don't worry about that. Oh, what? Okay, so this is just about ready for us. Now, I'm gonna be opening this and it's gonna be really hot, so we're gonna take a look. Now, just as I'm hoping these, we were supposed to quarter the potatoes and we didn't. Oops, it's okay. So it might just be- Might be horrible. That we might not be able to mash them. Okay, it's, so the button, when the button pops up and it's done pressurizing, it will let you know that you can now open the pot. So, uh, here we go. It's a moment of truth. I know, I'm super excited for this. It's super hot. Woo! So, stick a fork in it. Let's see if it's done. Oh, yeah. It's looking like it will be, but I'm just nervous. Because you should be quartering these giant potatoes. How are we? Yeah, we should have. Oh, shoot. Are they still... It's fine. Some of them are really cooked and like this. Actually, I think it's going to work. I think it will be fine. It'll be okay. fine. Okay. So, so I'm going to pull those out. Yeah. Can I make the mashed potatoes in here? Absolutely. Okay. Because that's why I cleaned this. Do you want me to? Okay. So if you are making this, please quarter your potatoes. <laughs> we didn't do that. So it's going to be a little bit trickier. Uh, Instant Pot is not available locally. We have to order. Oh yeah. Ella. You can order it right off of Amazon, and they're actually on sale today for 30% off, which is yeah. like prime day prices. Where are the tops? Do you want some? Yeah. There are some clean ones right here. Oh, cool. How about this? Thank you. Is that better? Nope. Oh, yeah. No? Nope. <laughs> what did you use this with? That is the meat. I wouldn't use those. Use a different one. I have yeah. multiple. Here's oh, one. Yeah. Here. Those the Whew. Okay. Here we go. Get those there, big boys. Yeah, yeah. These now, ones, anytime that you cook meat, it's a good idea to let it rest for a hot minute before cutting into it. A hot minute, because it is hot over here. It is. But as you're making these mashed potatoes, we are going to be adding butter and salt and seasoning. I like to add a little garlic powder and season salt, but it's all a preference situation. Can I just throw them all in here, or is there a rhyme and reason to this? Um, no. Just as you're adding the butter, you might want to do that like as you go. You okay. can make this with a blender, but you might be better off having Mashing. Yeah. Do yeah, you have a masher? Um, yeah. I have like a mallet. Okay. I don't know if I have um, a... I don't think I have like a round traditional like... But I have this guy. That'll work. That'll work? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I need to just... Add all, can I just add all the ingredients? Can I just throw them all in here and mash? Yep. Is that going to be a problem? No. Okay, so I need a stick and a half of butter. Adding in a stick and a half of butter. I'm sure there's like some... Uh, more elegant way. More elegant well, way. Have, best is when you like do like a quarter, like a cube, a quarter cube at a time, but it's, it's fine. all good. It's fine. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. So what I love about the Instant Pot is that you can prepare a side dish and a main dish at the same time. Yeah. So this is giving you mashed potatoes and the, the, oh my gosh, I cannot get words today. Words are hard, ladies and gentlemen. The pot roast, pot roast, carrots, potatoes. And then what I am planning to do as well is take this pot roast out and I'm going to be adding cornstarch to make a gravy for the potatoes at the same time. It's really weak, so I it's okay. I just broke it. I'm super sorry. I heard it happen, but I was just brushing it off. It's fine. I'm so sorry. I just ruined all of your kitchen things. Basically. Yeah, I'm so it's sorry. Fine. You're fine. It's fine. But I think that's a lot of potatoes. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to take some out. Yeah, I'm thinking take out, like, I, take out the hard mostly chunks. because I can't. <laughs> Sorry, did you work? Did you have other purposes for that bowl? It's for fine. that plate? Break my, break my bowl, use my plate. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh, man. How's that? It's That's really better. just, it's those ones that were on top. So that, now you won't need as much butter. Yeah. And that guy. Good thing I already put it in. <laughs> oh, you already did it all? This is going to be a really healthy meal. <laughs> Do you, do you need to get that big boy out of there? Oh, that seems 
decent enough. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> I will need a new bowl now, though. Oh. Because this is going to start leaking at any moment. Let's help you out there. How Sorry, about, team. How about Sorry, this team. Big boy? Oh, oh, a metal bowl. Imagine that with a metal utensil. Oh, wow, that hurts. You good? Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. So when you add the milk, you want to make sure that it is heated so it doesn't have problems with the potatoes. Otherwise, it'll start like coagulating. And you don't want that, like curdling almost? Curdling? Coagulating. Wow. Blood. Coagulating is more like the proteins when they start to yeah. cook. So you I'm don't want that. I'm going to use uh, just uh, something else now. What do you? What can I do for you, Shane? I don't know. Okay. I just need something to mix with that is not this. Okay. All right. Maybe it's a fork, actually. We're going to use every pair of spatulas that I have. Oh, shoot. This is why I wear an apron. <laughs> this moment right here. I'm trying not to laugh at you, but it's becoming a lot <laughs> Oh, it's super easy right now. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take this steak out. Remember that time I took your plate? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is, uh, these are kind of weak. A hand mixer. Yeah, you're right, Becky. I love real so life cooking. So here's our cooking, roast. Says Jos Josie. This is a little bit smaller. Of course, you can do a bigger roast if you want to, but wow. we have a smaller family. Gosh, that smells so good. And I'm going to go ahead and take the sprigs of thyme. Thyme. Taking off. our thyme away? Yeah. Looks like you're going to be having crunchy mashed potatoes, says Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Snapple, Shane. Words are hard, says Valencia. Thank you. Thank you, Valencia. Um, microwave your butter in your milk next time. Gosh, oh, Jess is a genius. See, those are the kinds of things that we Sandra struggle. says pull the handles. Sorry. I love your laugh. Thanks, Rosario. I love the kitchen. Thanks, Candice. She Thank does have you. a great kitchen. My husband and I are going off this weekend for a four-year anniversary. Oh, yay. What day did Amanda. you get married? I want to know. I'm the ninth. We are the ninth. I'm digging these red glasses, Shane. Thank you. What, what? Okay. Um, Throw the uncooked pieces of the potato in the microwave for two to three minutes and then mash with the rest. That's very smart. Can I squeeze past you and yeah. grab the measuring cup? So what I'm doing right now is I am grabbing the vegetables out of the bottom of the pot so I can make the gravy. And what's really nice about an instant pot is you can switch to saute mode and just keep making the gravy right where you are. You don't have to make a new pot messy, which is just lovely in my opinion. Can I opinion. add pepper to this or is that okay? Sure. Or is that going to ruin this? It's just whatever spices you want. For okay. I just like a little salt and pepper and basically yeah, everything. Yeah, basically everything. <laughs> Why not? Oh, that smells so good. Do you have chives? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, um, nice. how would the thyme be in there? But we already have thyme and seasonings going on here. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh. roll it all together. Oh. oh, but you're thinking for like the gravy stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you. You got I me. I got you. You two are the best, Sandra says. Love watching you two. Thanks, Bonnie. Thanks, Sandra. Thank you. Even and when we struggle. Yeah, we, which is like All always. The time. <laughs> <It's so laughs> we rough. said that at the same time. Um, we got married the 13th at a cabin in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Oh, that sounds That's nice. That's super cute. I love it. A Pigeon Forge? You said Ford. Pigeon Forge. Is what I said. Okay, forage. I yeah. can't say I know exactly what a pigeon Shane forage digs the is. herbs. I do dig the herbs. You do. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some cornstarch to my instant pot, and I'm gonna switch it to saute mode. Although it's hot enough in there, honestly, it's at a keep warm situation, so I don't really think I need to. So I'm just gonna add it. Depending on how much you have in there, you'll need a tablespoon or two. And it will just thicken up. Although I do want to make it bubble, so maybe I'm going to add <coughs> a little bit. <coughs> Bless you! Thank you. Alright. <laughs> Sneaky, she saw me taking a bite of it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah, it's good. It needs a little more salt, though. Okay. So I have this on saute mode, so I'm making the gravy right in the pot of the Instant Pot I just made the roast in. 
Which, okay, okay that's what heavy. I love about the Instant Pot is yeah. like, and that's why it's better than a, a regular pressure cooker. Yeah, or an in, or a crock pot for that matter. Absolutely, just, and it has the crock pot feature. It does. Which is awesome. It has so, the crock pot feature. It has special buttons where you can make your own yogurt or yeah. lentils or soup. What other buttons are on there? <clears throat> so many. And I think like what is so great is that, you know, you're. it's just like you can do one dish, you know? You Poppy's can do like, one what if you dish. on the ground? Porridge, multi-grain, rice soup, meat stew, bean, chili, poultry, slow cook, pressure, manual, saute. We're on the saute feature right now. Yeah. So if you are doing the saute feature, you will need to make sure the lid is off because it is cooking it, obviously, in a different way. So you'll want to have the lid off when you go to saute mode. And you can use saute mode before or after you do your instant pot pressure cooking and you'll be all set. Um, I know. Oh, yeah! <laughs> we got back on. I like Yay! moved around, turned the Wi-Fi off, turned it back on. Whew! Okay, welcome back. Christine, sorry guys, we'll watch later. Have a great show. Thanks so much, Christine. And we're gonna be plating this and I will share a beautiful picture after when we're all done. And it will be available on the blog with all of the directions, ingredients, to see how it all comes together. Yeah, and share this to your wall. And you'll and have it. Yeah, sharing it to your wall is always a good idea. This is just about to come to a boil, and that will help us to get the thickness that we're looking for. How are we doing with the potatoes over there? Good. Oh, you're making them all. Um, I'm actually not going to. I was just oh, going to okay. see. I did microwave the rest just to get them mashed up. But they're going to be a little chunkier than I want. So I'm going to hold off on those for now. But our potatoes are done. So. Good. Okay, this is about to boil here. So I'm going to let it boil for a quick minute just to let it thicken up so we can have a nice gravy. And then we are going to plate... Do you need a new plate? Well, I'm just thinking we're going to want to plate it up and then we're going to take a cook or something um, to make it look cute. Yeah. So, <laughs> I love how you're trickled. Yeah. Because no one, no one heard that. No one heard that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's looking good. See, it's starting to bubble. We oh, want to make sure to leave it there Super for just good. a couple of minutes. Like a little closer. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's probably better. So we can see that deliciousness. I have a few pieces of onion still in there from when we cooked it. Which is fine. That'll be good with the gravy. Oh, you have the comments, right? Oh, yeah. Rosario says... She likes adding... Uh, cream cheese? Cream cheese. Yeah, I bet that is awesome. Okay, so that's good enough. I'm just going to go ahead and unplug it just so it cools down quick enough. But that is our gravy, which saves you so much time. And, of course, you can season this if you would like to, but we have so many seasonings in the mashed potatoes yeah. already. I would wait to season this just so that you don't over-season it. Should we cut a slice of the meat, do you Yeah, think? let's do it. Okay. Should we plate two? Yeah. I'm just thinking. I know. We're going to do a picture of the potatoes and the steak. We have made a nice mess tonight. Yes, we have. All right, so there is our gravy. We're going to plate this up. It's still pretty bubbly, so I'm going to... How do you want to do this? Oh, thank you. Perfect. Yeah, it sounds like kids in her own home. I almost want to ask a little question. So, we are <clears throat> just finishing up here and we're going to have a, we're going to take a bite. 
Um, Put a little shrimp on the bobby. Yeah. Oh, well, that looks good. Oh, good. You did good with that. Okay. We're going to make a little boat. Oh. Oh, sorry. You were going to get that for scooping up. I can just use a spoon. Do you want me to just use a spoon? Be really careful not to burn yourself. My children are home, so you all bets are off. You never know. Can you hand me Man, some of those okay. veggies? Um, yeah. Thank you. They can't see what I... Oh, sorry. Sorry, team. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this was all put together in the Instant Pot. This would be an awesome meal to make on any weeknight or on a Sunday if you're looking for something easy one pot easy <laughs> just don't make scotch in the same night because yes. that will increase your amount of dishes used <laughs> yes indeed oh yeah oh yeah I'm so excited about this right now and we'll probably want to put a little gravy over this too yeah but look that looks perfect totally can they see how oh, you can see it yeah Yum. Hey. I think the next time I make this, I will do a little more meat. Um, because meat shrinks, of course, when you cook it. So I think. Yeah, but this looks so good. It looks amazing. Okay. There it is. There it is. There it is. So if you want to get the recipe for this, just go to the link in the description in my mommy style and you can get all of the ingredients that you need and enjoy this delicious meal. Don't forget Instant Pot is 30% off today and those sales will come and go with no rhyme or reason. So uh, go ahead and, and buy that today if you've been thinking about it. Should I sing us out, Camille? Yes, please. Okay. Let me get my little set up here. You want to pull this back? Bonnie, mm -mm. mm -mm. whoop, there it is. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Did you try some of the potatoes? Um, I did. Why don't you taste some of them? I'm going to try it. Yeah, they're super good. Get you a little gravy on there. Mm -hmm. Good? Really good. Really, really good. <clears throat> Thank you for joining us tonight. We're so happy to have you with us. Yeah. We are so glad Shane's you joined us. Shane's going to sing us out. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll let you have the stage. Oh, thank you. Okay, so if you see in the description, you'll see the link to donate. It's my hometown, guys. Show them a little bit of love um, of all the people who were affected uh, last night. And, you know, this nightmare is still not over for them. So... Um, here's our, our state song. It's called Home Means Nevada, and this is just my own arrangement. This isn't, a, this isn't how the song actually goes, but here it is. Home means Nevada. Home means the hills. Home means the sage and the pines. Out by the truckie. Silvery rills out where the sun always shines. There is a land that I love the best, fairer than all I can see. Right in the heart of the gold. Where the moonbeam 
things play in the shadow of glen with the spotted fawn and doe. Till the morning light It's the loveliest place I know Home means Nevada Home means the hills Home means the sage and the pines Out by the truckies Silvery rills Always shines. There is a land that I love the best, fairer than all I can see. Right in the heart of the golden west, home means Nevada to me. Okay, donate down below, guys. Thanks so much. Love you all. Thanks for all the love and prayer and support. And join us next week. And hi, baby. Hey, Bajensum. What's up, man? <laughs> love you guys. Thanks for joining. Bye. Bye.